Welcome back as we present Comrade Steve from Abuja coming out to tell us the current situation right now. The information reaching us is that Madam Tomito Pui, the woman that took Apostle Kate Wakama to uh, justice, uh, that people were going after her, people like Just Lovely and the Apostle Ken Wakama's daughter. We are yet to confirm this information, but meanwhile, you pay attention to Mr. Steve, the man with option B, coming out to address the current situation at the moment in the grand ecosystem. Thank you for joining Goodness Life of the subscribe via new to our channel. We are yet to update you on the current situation in the grand ecosystem. Thank you. Grand community, good morning. My name is Mr. Steve from Abuja. Come here this morning, this beautiful Sunday. Today is the 23rd of June, 2024. I come here quickly uh, in, response, in response to some of the message I've been reading. I was telling Wakama that I'm planning uh, to mobilize crowd against Madam Temitope and also just lovely and all the full soldiers of uh, Apostle Ken Wakama. I want to say to the masses that uh, we should all be calm. There is no way darkness can overcome light. We are light and they, are, they represent darkness. There is no way they can come out. It's just a threat in order to intimidate Madame Temitope and our supporters and all of us who want to know the secret behind this grant. Like for me, I volunteer myself representing the masses. I'm not representing any NGO, neither am I volunteering to represent cluster head or whatever. I'm volunteering myself to represent the downtrodden masses who have paid their little stipends to register for this grant. Those are the people like me that I'm speaking for, that I'm standing for. That wherever this quest will go, I will be there to represent them. With whoever want to come also to represent, either the NGO, cluster head, or the masses. Uh, I want to tell Madam, be steadfast, don't shake. They cannot do you anything. The Lord is with you. Angels are surrounding you. They will fail. Anyone that will rise, to hurt you. Stroke will hold the person down and the person will not be able to move. You will become paralyzed from the point they want to stand against you physically. I want to tell you that they can mobilize all the women in Nigeria. Who are the women that are going to mobilize? Is it the one that have cheated? Is it the one that have collected money from them that they are in pain? Is it those who they want to mobilize? Who are the people that are going to mobilize? You see, even government itself that has all the power Every government in power is always afraid of the masses. Because there can never be government without the masses. If the masses arise, there is no way any government can stand. So, and Utango will have a, a listening government, a government that listens to its people. So, it will be a kind of, a, that is wrong, that is very big mistake for them to come out, say they want to mobilize, they want to protest. They want to bring crowd against this quest to know the truth behind this grant of a thing. If I were, I don't want to advise them, even so I would have advised them and tell them what to do so that they can get a soft landing. But I can't uh, advise my enemy on how to bring me down. But uh, let me have my game over my enemies. So if they think of mobilizing crowd to come out against this quest, I think they are making a very big mistake. Because it's going to expose them more to the anger of the masses that they have taken a lot from. It's going to expose them to a lot of things which they don't know. The devil is just blind, blindfolding them. And if truly, that yes, they are mobilizing against this quest to go to the Center for Defense of Human Rights, if they are really mobilizing, even any lawyer that will even come to say you want to represent Ken or any other grant handler in Nigeria, say as a lawyer, you want to come and represent them in any law court or wherever, that lawyer or whoever, fire, fire of the Holy Ghost will consume such person. The person will become dumb. His mental capacity will be paralyzed. Because you cannot cheat the masses. And after cheating them, you want to cage them. 
we want to bring under on with, with what power that you are a government or what after collecting people's resource and you want to come and fight them i pity those who will really come to support them that they want to mobilize against the against the quest to, to unravel if you know the, the holy book say the the guilty wrong when nothing chase them because if his hands are clean all he would have come out is to bring out all the document or whatever all the evidence and show to the masses call the ngos take them to wherever you need to take them to say see my hands are clean this is evident this money is there these are the documents show it to them and this thing there's all there won't be any any quest for one to go to anywhere to go and ask for uh, evidence concerning the grant you can come out on your own if you know you are, you are an apostle you call yourself an apostle and you are doing all this kind of scheming you want to mobilize using your daughter and all that to endanger endanger the lives of people after you have collected many have died because they were waiting for grant many are hypertensive right now blood pressure rising and still you want to come out to mobilize I just pray that it is not true I just pray that it's a lie that it's just a rumor that they are mobilizing against uh, the quest to unravel the truth behind this grant. Because even them themselves, there was a time Apostle Ken says that he is even expecting this money, even more than every other person. So that he's even in a hurry more to get this money out and disburse than every other person. So if he knows that is true and he believes in this word, then let him come and bring the document and tell the whole world this is true. This is the agency or the ministry or parasite that is holding this disbursement. And then tell the masses. Because Moses abandoned his people. And before he came back, they built a golden calf. And they were worshiping a golden calf rather than worshiping God. So if he has abandoned the masses by not telling us the real truth behind this ground, I want to keep it to himself. By the time as he's returning, what he's going to meet may not be palatable. That's what caused the anger of Moses that he broke the Ten Commandments that God gave to him. So I want to see on the masses let it be steadfast come break come shine the truth about this thing we have come to the end of this freedom has come to the masses let us know if this thing is there let's get it. if it's not there let everybody go and rest making v note every day making write up every day some have insulted if you go to the platform sometimes i don't even like commenting on platform anymore because someone who doesn't want to talk to you will insult you cheaply someone who cannot even stand before you and look to you eyeball to eyeball not because we are in a social media has brought made us equal some will insult you anyhow the way you feel you begin to wonder what have you done to deserve such kind of in, in, insults such people they see you in, in life they can't talk to you all because of brand anger everywhere so i want to call uh, all supporters of this quest to unravel the truth concerning this grant we should not give up we should not shake victory has come and victory it's not victory of war. Nobody's going to fight anybody. All we, all we are saying is let's know the truth. Because I love this uh, plan B option that Madame Temitopo is bringing. That was what I was shouting before. But thank God, even though I could not mobilize on my own to do that, but I'm laying, lending my support to her maximally, peacefully, to see out the truth behind this thing. So if the money is there, so let's get the money and give to the masses. Let everybody rest. Once again, I want to thank you all for those who listen to me. I want to say this beautiful Sunday that the Almighty God will hear our prayers we prepare to enter a new week. It shall be a new week of fruitfulness to every one of us. Thank you and God bless. Once again, my name is Mr. Steve from Abuja, making this VN today the 23rd of June 2024. Peace.